Welcome back to another video, Soil here, and today I want to talk about Kaufman's Adaptive Moving Average, which is also known as Coma. It was developed by Perry Kaufman, who is a very famous trader and investor and author of many books on the subject of trading. Coma is one of the best types of moving averages that takes the noise or volatility of the market into account, and this causes to have lower number of false signals in compared to other types of moving averages. To add Coma to our chart, here we click on Indicators, and we search Kaufman moving average we add this one which is written by someone named H. Potter. All right, uh, this is Kaufman moving average with default length of 21, as you can see. I don't intend to get into the calculations behind this moving average, and you can find it on the web simply by searching in the Google, but I just tell you what it does that makes this type of moving average very powerful. When the price fluctuations are small, in other words, the noise is low, comma will follow the price closely. But when the price swings widen and the volatility or noise becomes comes higher comma will adjust itself to show you what this means in practice let me add a sample moving average this one with the same length of 21 which is the length of Kaufman moving average here and let's change the color to uh, for example green and also let's add an exponential moving average with the same length to see how they behave in compared to each other for the exponential moving average here in the input step we set it at 21 and let's make the color red okay as you can clearly see Kaufman's moving average is considerably acting better than simple moving average and exponential moving average here in this part of the chart the direction of the market is up but in times that we have increased volatility these two moving averages are easily broken and giving many false signals but look at the comma and see how it adjusts itself based on the current volatility of the market you can clearly see how it changes its distance from the price depending on the volatility of the price action like any other types of moving averages Kaufman moving average can be used for identifying overall trend and also discovering turning points of the market. As you know, the number of periods or length of the moving average directly impacts the lag or distance of the moving average line from the price. For example, here the length is 21 and the moving average line is moving very closely to the price action, which uh, may be more suitable for finding turning points of the market. But uh, when we increase the length, for example, let's uh, set it at 200 and uh, now you can see that it's uh, showing the direction of the market more clearly. When the price is above moving average line, the direction of the market is considered to be up and when the price is below moving average line, the direction of the market is considered to be down. So like other types of moving averages, by having a higher length of moving average like 200 or 100 depending on your trading style, time frame and volatility of the asset, this moving average line can help us with the overall direction of the market. Besides helping us in direction this moving average can also help us to identify turning points of the market and possibly discovering reversals the price crossovers happen more on lower length for example let's get back to the default length which is uh, 21 and now you can see that we have some price crossovers during this uptrend when the price crosses above or below the moving average line the direction of the market changes to that way but price crossovers are very prone to be false signals and we have very crossings without any considerable change into that direction so we need to filter the false signals one way is taking only the crossings that are in the direction of the market for example if we add another Kaufman moving average this one with the length, uh, let's set it at 200 and let's change the color to green. Here you can see that since the price is above the 200 moving average line, so we should only take the buying signals. In other words, the price crossovers that go above this comma line. We don't take a short position on downside crossovers, like what happened here or here or here. We only take long positions on upside crossovers. This was just an example to show you how the price crossovers should be used in practice, and you may use any other tools or indicators for confirming these signals. We can also add two Kaufman moving averages and having a buying or selling signals based on the crossing of the two moving average lines. For example, let's add another Kaufman moving average. 
this one and uh, let's make the length at for example 10 and let's make the color for example red when the shorter moving average crosses above the longer moving average it's a buying signal and when the shorter moving average crosses below the longer moving average it's a selling signal but like price crossovers here also these crossovers don't necessarily show a reversal in the market and many of the times they show a pullback so here also a good strategy is to take the crossovers that are in the current direction of the market kaufman moving average is a great tool that in compared to other types of moving average takes the noise or volatility of the market into account and changes its distance from the price based on the volatility of the market which causes to have lower number of false signals in compared to other types of moving averages but this doesn't mean that you can take your trading decisions only based on this moving average and you must use it in conjunction with other tools and aspects of technical analysis all right that's it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me i'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos see you guys in next video and good luck with your trading